Hey boys and girls, we're gonna read a story today called Dora's Eggs. What do you think this story is about? If it's called Dora's Eggs and on the cover I see a chicken and some eggs, then we're pretty sure that this story is gonna be about a chicken and some eggs. And her name must be Dora because the name of the story is Dora's Eggs. Now a mama chicken is called a hen. This book was written by Julie Sykes and it's illustrated by Jane Chapman. If you wanna pause for a minute the video and think about what you already know about hens and chickens and maybe even roosters, go ahead and pause and talk about that. Okay, let's read the book. The inside has eggs inside the cover. And here's a hen house on the title page, Dora's Eggs. The hen goes inside the house and sits on her eggs. Dora was sitting on a nest of eggs. They were shiny brown and smooth to touch. These are my very first eggs, clucked Dora proudly. I must get all my friends to come and admire them. Now when you admire something, you look at it and think about how much you like it. Dora climbed out of the hen house and into the farmyard. Who shall I visit first, she wondered. I know, I'll go and find Debbie Duck. Dora hopped over the fence and across the field until she reached the pond. Hello, Debbie, she called. Would you like to come and see my eggs? I can't come now, quacked Debbie. I'm teaching my babies to swim. Dora looked and stood watching the ducklings splashing around and learning to paddle. Somehow she felt, felt a bit less excited. My eggs are nice, she thought, but those fluffy ducklings are much nicer. Dora was just a little sad as she trotted over to the sty to visit Penny Pig. The sty, that's where pigs live in a pig sty. Hello, Penny, she clucked. Would you like to come and see my eggs? But Penny didn't hear. She was having too much fun tumbling around with her wriggly piglets. Dora gave a little sigh. My eggs are nice, she thought, but those wriggly piglets are much nicer. Dora gave another little sigh as she climbed the hill to find Sally Sheep. Would you like to come and see my eggs? She asked Sally. Not today, said Sally. I'm too busy keeping an eye on my lambs. Dora looked at the lambs frolicking in the field. She felt rather glum. Glum means a little sad. My eggs are nice, she thought, but those playful lambs are much nicer. Very sadly, Dora walked back to the farmyard. On her way, she bumped into Daisy Dog. Hello, Daisy, clucked Dora. Would you like to come and see my eggs? Sorry, Dora, barked Daisy, wagging her tail. I can't come now. I'm taking my puppies for a walk. Dora was beginning to feel quite miserable. Say that word, miserable. Miserable means very sad. My eggs are nice, she thought, but those cute puppies out for a walk are much nicer. In the farmyard, Dora stopped at the cow shed. She wished she felt happier. Perhaps Clarissa the cow would cheer her up. Would you like to see my eggs? She called. Shh, mooed Clarissa softly, nodding at the straw. Snuggled up by her feet was a newborn calf, fast asleep. Dora wanted to cry. My eggs are nice, she whispered, but that little calf all snuggled up is much nicer. Dora walked back across the yard in the sunlight and climbed into the hen house. Her eggs were just as she had left them, smooth and brown and very still. My eggs are nice, sighed Dora, fluffing out her feathers, but everyone else's babies are much nicer. Very sadly, Dora settled herself down onto her nest. What do you think's going to happen? If you need to pause it and tell your adults with you and your family what you think is going to happen next, you can pause it and, and talk about it and then press play again. Crack! 
Dora jumped up in surprise. What's happening? Oh no, cried Dora, I've broken them. Tears began to roll down her face. They splashed onto the nest and over the cracked eggs. As each tear fell, the cracks grew wider and wider until suddenly, what is it? What do you think it is? Up popped a fluffy head, then another and another. Soon the nest was full of tiny chicks. Cheep, cheep, the chicks peeped. Cheep, cheep. Dora stopped crying and stared at her babies. It didn't matter that the eggs were broken. The new chicks were everything Dora had ever wanted. Proudly, she strutted out into the farmyard and one by one the chicks followed her. All the animals stopped and looked. See the baby chicks following the mama hen? Why, Dora, quacked Debbie, they're as fluffy as my ducklings and wriggly like my piglets, oinked Penny. They're as playful as my lambs, bobbed Sally, and you can take them for walks just like my puppies, barked Daisy. But best of all, mooed Clarissa, your chicks can snuggle up to you like my calf snuggles up to me. Cluck, said Dora happily, agreeing with her friends. My eggs were nice, but my chicks are much, much nicer. Dora loves her baby chicks, doesn't she? Can you remember some of the names for the baby animals in this book? Like the baby animals, um, the baby chickens were called chicks. What were the baby ducks called? Ducklings, that's right. What were the baby pigs called? piglets. What about the baby sheep? What were they called? Lambs. That's right. What were the baby dogs called? Puppies. What was the baby cow called? A calf. That's right. I hope you liked this book. It's called Dora's Eggs and I hope that you're reading a lot of books at home too. See you later.